Nice to be here. My name is Kurt Dewart um, with U.S. Bank um, and lead our Midwest healthcare uh, efforts and wanted to spend just a couple minutes talking a little bit about what we do. That's really what Heather's going to do here in the next couple minutes. But the one thing that I think Heather and I have noticed in the last day or so is there's been one burning question that I think everybody has stopped by to ask us, and I see it on many of your faces right now, and that is, what in the world is U.S. Bank doing here? <clears throat> I think that's a fair question. And so we're going to spend a few minutes talking about that. But, you know, really, to answer that question in a pretty simple way, it's to listen and learn. Um, healthcare is something that, obviously, U.S. Bank's been involved with for a number of years. But just in the last 18 months, um, Heather and I have been a part of a movement and a group within U.S. Bank to focus on independently owned, privately owned healthcare practices. And that's all we do uh, and what we do in our markets. We have about 80, 85 bankers across the U.S. today that focus just on this. Um, we really focus on bringing tools and resources, technology that we've invested in for private practice in the last year and a half, <clears throat> obviously bringing capital and funding to that as well. And so that's a big part of what we're trying to do is to drive those tools to practices to make that accessible and I think really in what we're hearing uh, in the last day and a half is really to find ways to brainstorm on how we can help bridge that gap, maybe between the employer groups and the DPCs. And so it's something that we're giving a lot of thought to and, and um, listening intently on. So those of you who've entertained our questions and been patient in answering, thank you so much for that. Um, I really want to just uh, invite Heather to talk a little bit about why we're here, the things we can offer and, and do. So here you go, Heather. Thank you, Kirk. Um, I'm really happy to be here. It has been um, just eye-opening in so many different ways, and I really appreciate all of you helping to answer our questions as well as we continue to explore and how we can best support you and your communities. Um, as Kirk said, my name is Heather, and I actually live here in the great state of Wisconsin and cover this state. Um, as a healthcare relationship manager um, for US Bank. Um, before I get started, I um, thought, and I told Kirk this, usually the question we get when people stop by the US Bank booth is, are you giving away money? <laughs> so um, I do have what's known as a money tree or a money plant. And it is part of our main giveaway item. So when I call this winner's name, please stop by our table after this to pick up the balance. But I thought I would show all of you. They look like little coins, and they're um, symbols of financial health and prosperity. So I am very happy to announce that Brian Woodbridge is our winner today. So <laughs> may you be blessed <laughs> with... Abundance, prosperity. 20s or 50s? I, I mean, just need a Sharpie and we can determine that now. Um, so with that all said, um, back to the question that we got in the last day or so of why are we here? And that, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm a, a yoga instructor as well, so I tend to dig deep into um, the meaning of life a lot. Um, and uh, I met Matt back in November when I had heard rumblings, being in the healthcare space, that there were a number of um, disenchanted physicians in our hospital network that wanted a pathway to their own private practice. And I was digging around my own personal network of trying to find who was leading the charge in Wisconsin, and I found Matt. And we have been almost inseparable ever since, meeting every week. He reminded me we have a meeting tomorrow morning, so I can't wait for that, that conversation. And I asked him to help me understand what the need was. I certainly, as you know, a, a visitor of a doctor group and in the hospital system and a mother of two children and watching friends and other family members in the healthcare system, we all know what it's about and what it's become. And so I had this very inspirational conversation with Matt, and I could not um, help but raise my hand immediately and say, I will help you 
bridge the gap of information and bring physicians who might be afraid to leave their you know, higher paid salary roles in the hospital systems and give them a pathway to owning their own private practice through our wisdom, expertise, experience, and network. Um, so thank you, Matt, for your patience and educating me as, as we move forward. Um, Outside of that, what makes me passionate about healthcare is my entire life, I watched my own mother work tire tirelessly at one of the major pharmaceutical companies as a pharmaceutical uh, research and developer. I joke that her retirement plan was actually starting her own pharmaceutical R&D company. And to this day, in her 80s, she is always researching um, even going to Washington, D.C., sitting on NIH, pan NIH panels, and still writing patents. Um, when I ask her, if anyone asks her, why are you still doing this in your 80s? You should be chilling out. Um, she says, I just want to help people feel better. I just want to do better. And I think um, I reflect often that that's what she's instilled in me. I could not past science to save my life, um, but I am very passionate about helping others succeed and find health, um, both physically, if you take my yoga class, but also financially. There's no greater stress for any of us or any business than not having sound financial advice. And that is critical when you're running a business or running a private practice. Um, we want to help provide more knowledge, more wisdom through the same level of attention that our best doctors give to us as patients. We listen through, you know, consulting, asking questions, and most importantly, listening so that we can devise and create a strategic plan for the health and wellness of the practice that serves the communities they're in. Um, so to sum up, why are we here? We have a true passion for our communities, for people, for the healthcare practices that serve them, and providing the best care and solutions um, that we all deserve. Um, we listen with compassion and care, we analyze and assess, and we want to be known across the country and locally as the destination for doctors. I'm totally going off script. We have, we have slides too. Um, but in any event, so if you want to click to the next slide. Um, oh, do I have the clicker? Oh, I have the clicker. Um, oops, sorry. Down. Hello, friends. Um, <laughs> so at US Bank, we truly are relationship driven, even though we are the fifth largest bank in the country. Um, that just gives us the strength to support all of you through, through tools and strategies. And, um, but we really are based in the communities that we serve. So we truly believe in relationships. Um, I mean, none of us really love sitting on hold on 800 numbers, so that's why we're here. I was talking to a doctor client of mine earlier, and he said, man, Heather, he's like, you answer your phone uh, early in the morning, on weekends, walking down a bike path. So we are here to support you so that you can um, serve your clients and your people, and you know we're always accessible outside of normal business hours to help that. Um, we provide the industry-leading solutions and digital tools that's necessary in today's world, and we can also provide the healthcare expertise and financial strength that is also necessary. Um, we offer everything from lending to treasury management services, which helps you know with paying your people, your vendors, your employees, all of that, um, which is is very important when you're trying to optimize your revenue and save time and money. Um, and most importantly, I think, is the last bullet, which is just really strengthening your practice and making sure we can improve every aspect of your practice management as, as humanly possible. And I also like to say we focus on the people. So we want to make sure that um, the doctors and, and owners of the practice, um, they have dreams of retirement someday, I'm sure. Uh, unlike my mother, maybe, but <laughs> um, we want to make sure that we're helping you realize your dreams. Um, and there's a number of ways in, in which we do that. Um, 
we definitely have forward thinking. We think strategically, and we want to make sure that we bring that to you through, again, the relationships and giving you the peace of mind that you are with a trusted advisor. As I mentioned, we can help um, grow practices from coast to coast. So um, I'm probably running short on time, so you can just two minutes. OK. So, <laughs> um, so that's exciting, is that we are part of a very large um, organization to help support you. Did I hit the wrong? I hit the wrong button. Um, so again, everything from starting a practice, expanding a practice, maintaining a practice, operations, technology, equipment, real estate, um, these are all aspects um, that we can help with. So if you own a practice, if you want to start a practice, if you know of anybody who is talking about leaving the hospital system and just wants to talk, our goal really is to provide that pathway to starting a successful practice or growing and building upon what you've already started. And um, please share my contact information. I would love to talk further if you'd like to reach out. Um, I only give out my cell phone because um, I want to make sure you get a hold of me. So call, text, email, and I would love to meet you soon. So thank you so much for having us, and we look forward to talking further.